What's up YouTube, Evan here with Epic Duel Time doing a commentary on another duel video for you all. This takes place between um, Dragon Links on our left and Dinosaurs on the right. Um, this match is featured at uh, Battlegrounds Games and Hobbies in Saugus Mass. Alright, so both players draw their respective hands. Imran summons uh, Chamber Dragon Maid. She search Dragon Hospitality. Or Dragon Maid Hospitality, excuse me. And then a quick link summon for Striker Dragon. Striker Dragon has an effect that searches Boot Sector Launch. So the players discuss briefly what Dragon Maid Hospitality does. It special summons a Dragon Maid from the graveyard, and then if the player chooses, he can send a similar attribute or a same attribute, Dragon Maid, but a different name to the graveyard. Um, Imran is choosing just to link off the Striker Dragon with the Chamber Dragon Maid to get himself a Dragoonity Knight Romulus. Romulus activates its effect. For Dragoonity Divine Lance, the Lance then fetches a um, Phalanx. The Phalanx uses its effect when equipped to special summon itself. And then a link off from the uh, Romulus into Linkros. Linkros summons two tokens. Both are Cybers level one tokens. At this time, um, Justin activates uh, Miscellaneous Horus's effect. So, a Synchro Summon occurs between a token and the Phalanx for Martial Metal Marcher. Martial Metal Marcher fetches the Phalanx back, and then a Link Summon between the um, Metal Marcher and the um, other Link Monster for a Christron Halk of Vibrix. For Red Rose Dragon. Red Rose Dragon and that last token from Linkros will now synchro for a Herald of the Arc Light in defense mode. I love whoever is shaking the table on, on the feed. Sorry about that, guys. That's some sarcasm. I really hate when people shake my feed. Okay, so now a Link summon of Guard Dragon LP. And then another Striker Dragon from that uh, Red Rose uh, Dragon.
Alright, so now um, a link summon for the Whelp of Destruction. I, I don't know his name very well. Uh, and then another link summon of Guard Dragon Pisty. Um, Pisty fetches the uh, Red Eyes Black Darkness Metal Dragon. Sorry for butchering that other Link Monster's name. Narrating combo is a feat in itself. I think I missed uh, narrating the summon of the Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon from the LP. Alright, now a summon of White Rose Dragon. And then chaining uh, Noctivision Dragon to the summon. Um, so if Noctivision Dragon, uh, if a dragon is summoned, uh, he can special summon himself, and then if uh, he's used for a Link summon, uh, Imran can draw an extra card. So now another Link summon for. The Hieratic Seal of Heaven or Hieratic Seal of Heavenly Spheres. Another link summon into Union Carrier. Alright. Pretty good card drawn off that uh, Nocturnal Vision Dragon. The uh, he looked like he ripped a Lancia off that. And now we special summon in Chaos Dragon Levianir by banishing three darks. The triple dark effect of Levianir is to sh uh, randomly pick a card out of your opponent's hand and then shuffle it back into their deck. So it looks like the second card from the left. And sets the face down and then targets Levianir with Union Carrier to equip him with a copy of Destruction Buster Sword. Alright, so now dinosaurs draw for turn. That's activating a fossil dig to start. The dragon player really is only missing a uh, Borolode Savage Dragon for this to be like a complete combo board. I think he needed uh, one of the the Chaos Babies, Wyvern Burst or Collapse. All right, and now a normal summon of um, Omnivore or Overraptor, maybe. I think it's Overraptor. Yeah, sorry. All right, so Herald negates the effect. And uh, Justin scoops, and we go game two. We, as in all of us, as a collective of us, not. I'm not playing in this game. Alrighty, so now game two. Both players draw their respective hands. Dinosaur, dinosaurs start with Pot of Extravagance. Shuffling up that extra deck. Alright, 
Alright, so six random cards picked. Two from the main are drawn. I love the confidence of not checking your extra deck or the six cards. Alright, so a copy of Lost World is activated. Alright, Oviraptor is summoned. And then a token is brought over to Imran's side of the board. Alright, so Babysaurus is destroyed. Uh, Miscellaneousaurus is sent, uh, and then, uh, excuse me, uh, sorry, Babysaurus is, is destroyed. Giant Rex is summoned. I still get my dino combos a little screwy. So, activating Miscellaneousaurus's effect, banishing the Babysaurus to summon Petite. An overlay between the Giant Rex and the Oviraptor. Oof, and Justin realizes what's missing. Oof. He's missing Dolkas. Uh, so he's forced into Lagia because he sent all of his Dolkas to the Banish Zone with Pot of Extravagance. Gotta be careful on that. But again, it's literally uncontrollable. It's random. So, just gotta make sure in the deck building you have plenty of Dolkas and Lagias, and it's such a tight extra deck. They just run the necessities. All right, and now a summon of uh, Pancratops. And then I believe he passed his turn. All right, so. Imran attempts to normal summon Rocket Tracer, and Lagia swiftly negates, but <laughs> unfortunately he has the uh, World Chalice Guard Dragon, which can bring Rocket Tracer right back. Now he links off the token and the rocket tracer. For Chris Brown Hawk of Fireworks. Um, and then an effect an effect failure comes out and negates the Hulk's effect. It's rough. Let's see how he follows up. Okay, boot sector launch. La launch has an effect. It lets him special summon one rocket uh, tracer to uh, kind of even uh, even out the board. So let's you special summon a certain number of monsters based on the difference between you and your opponent.
Alright, so now a Link Ross is summoned over the past monster, but then another effect veiler from from Justin. Okay, so now Rocket Tracer is going to use his effect to target the World Legacy Guard Dragon. And then Justin's going to use Pancratops to pop the Guard Dragon f out from underneath Rocket Tracer's target, which means um, neither one of the effects of Rocket Tracer will be able to resolve. He won't be able to special summon, and he won't have to be locked into dra Dark Dragon monsters. Alright, now a link summon between the Link Cross and the Rocket Tracer for the Buster Whelp. And now a special summon of Collapse Serpent, banishing the Link Cross. Alright, a single link into Elpy. Now, now Collapse Serpent's effect. But unfortunately, Justin has that ash. Three hand traps in his hand. The players share a bit of a laugh. And now, Imran's forced to get right back up on his feet and try to recover from triple hand traps double veiler and an ash he thinks to link link into heretic seal of the heavenly spheres and pass his turn sorry about my phone Alright, so activating Miscellaneous Source's effect, banishing four himself and three other dinosaurs. Alright, so see the sphere is going to bounce the Lagia. Letting him summon a dragon. Brotor. And then um Ovaraptor is summoned on the right. So Ovaraptor, Lost World, and Giant Rex all have effects that activate. And uh Brotor uh, causes Imran to di di discard. I I've still have tried to figure out what the card is that he discards. I can't figure it out. Um, but he searches Chaos Dragon Levianir. A Jurak Egg is token is summoned to Imran's board. And now Justin continues. Doing some quick calculations, trying to kind of plan out the move. Yu-Gi-Oh has changed so much since I, since my retirement. It's it's really it's become so much more of a, a planning game and a much more of a, um, a, a a setup game than than an interaction game like it used to be. And um, just the changes are, are always interesting to kind of note and to watch. 
So Baby Saurus is summoned, uh, Popped, and Petite is brought back. Animadorned Archosaur is special summoned, Pops the Petite, Surges the Double Evolution Pill, uh, and Miscellaneousaurus is summoned. All right, Animador and Archosaur is nothing. <laughs> um, another Lagia is formed from Miscellaneous and Giant Rex. Uh, now a double evolution pill, banishing Ash and Petite. Special summoning Superconductor Tyranno. And then a special summon of the dinosaur that banishes five. He has a quirky name and I had it pulled up earlier. Overtex Quatless. Alright, and now Animador and Archosaur is linked off into Link Haribo. So he attacks with the Overraptor and chooses to uh, protect it with the Drac Egg to, uh, the, dr uh, Lost World to get an, uh, effect. Um, but at this point, Imran kind of runs the numbers and sees his victory isn't really in this, in the future. So, he scoops to go to a, a game three to avoid going into time. A lot of these combo decks, uh, you'll find, you, you you can tell who's the winner <laughs> uh, very quickly just by card advantage alone, uh, just based on 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 what is being presented uh, in in the beginning. So Imran starts with uh, one for one, which is Ash Blossomed, and then follows up with a quick launch. Special summoning Rocket Tracer, and Rocket Tracer will be linked off immediately into Striker Dragon. Striker Dragon activates its effect to search out Boot Sector Launch. All right, another copy of Quick Launch. Quick Launch can be activated multiple times per turn. All right, another Rocket Monster, name I didn't get. Link off for two into Romulus. Romulus effect gets Lance. Gets the Phalanx. Phalanx effect, special summon itself. Link off for one into Linkros. Justin playfully teases a Valor. Uh, a Synchro Summon for Martial Metal Marcher fetches back Phalanx. Link off for the Romulus and the uh, Marshal for Halka Vibrix. Halka Vibrix gets Red Rose Dragon, Red Rose Dragon, and the token Synchro off into Herald. 
of the arc light. That was the sun. Okay, now White Rose Dragon comes out. I think a Link Summon occurs for Guard Dragon LP. Alright, linking off that Phalanx for sh another Striker Dragon. Isn't Dragon Link fun? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, uh, I think it's it's cool. It, uh, if I had to pick between Dragon Link or Infernoble, I would pick Dragon Link. Alright, now summoning Black Metal Dragon. Okay, yet another Link summon into the... Maybe I'll get this car this card's name right one day. Protector Whelp of the Destruction. Um, and now Guard Dragon Pisty is summoned. Fetching Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Alright, now Pisty, bringing back White Rose Dragon. Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon came off of the Black Metal Dragon. I'm sorry if I was confusing it earlier when I said it came off Pisty. Alright, now, banish Pisty for Darkness Metal. Darkness Metal's effect. Need a non-tuner, man. There you go. Actually, you need a tuner, sorry. I forgot White Rose Dragon is not a tuner. So, Rocket Tracer. Rocket Tracer and White Rose Dragon. For Boreload Savage Dragon. He'll get two negates for equipping uh, Halka Firebricks. He'll also gain an extra th uh, 300, uh, excuse me, 750 attack points. Alright, now Monster Reborn for Brotor. Brotor's effect. So, yet another Link Summon into Union Carrier. So, originally he attempts to equip uh, Lancia to the Boreload, which does not but how that works. Um, he then has to <laughs> kind of reread the card and um, equip it to Herald instead. Both monsters being light. And now Levianir comes out, banishing three darks, picking a random card from the hand and shuffling it back in. Okay, another Link Summon. Four, Hieratic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres. Alright, this is a, a really established dragon board right here. Okay, so in his standby phase, Harold bounces the Lancia back. Harold's effect, summoning Starleash Cyphered. Okay. 
All right, so Justin normal summons uh, Over Raptor. He also activated Dark Ruler No More to freeze off all of the monster effects on the board. Sorry for missing that. I'll stop checking my phone. Alright. Now we've got a Pancratops. Entering the battle phase. Overraptor attacks over the Herald in defense mode, and an attack on the Union Carrier in attack mode, uh, from the Pancratops dealing 1600 points of damage. Oh, sorry, there's no damage happening this turn. Excuse me, I have to get that better. Um, an attack over, uh, excuse me, uh, Pancratops pops, um, and then Miscellaneousaurus Ascent. And Artifact Lancia was chained. Alright, so... The Dark Monster is banished for Wyver Brewster. Alright, so an um, attack over... Uh, from Boral Load, and then a direct attack from Wyver Burster. At the end of the battle phase, evenly matched is, evenly matched is flipped up. Three cards are sent, are banished. Alright. Imran passes, goes to Justin. Justin... Banishes uh, Overraptor and Miscellaneous. Summoning Baby Saurus. End phase, it pops. And then Overraptor is summoned. Searching another Overraptor. Alright, the battle phase. A simple attack. A set in defense mode. And now it's Justin's turn. draws for turn, goes to use uh, summon for uh, Overraptor's effect, but time is up, and that puts um, Imran as the winner with uh, full life to the 5100 on um, the dinosaur side. Um, well, unfortunately, despite any of, you know, um, Justin's you know, ideas, uh, unfortunately, he timer was called um i yeah time sucks <laughs> losing in time sucks it really does um thank you all for tuning in as always like comment subscribe let us know what matchups you'd like to see in the future what types of games you'd like to, uh, me to go out and uh, and find and as always keep dueling america hi all evan here from epic duel time 
Epic Duel Time's return is one of the most exciting happenings of the new decade, and we'd love for you to share in the fun with us. Now on Etsy and eBay, we have an official Epic Duel Time sticker available for only $3. This decal is a high quality vinyl that's weather and waterproof. Put it on your deck box, trade binder, or water bottle, and you're part of the EDT crew now too. Click the link in the description to purchase today. Keep dueling, America.